A few things have caught my eye in the lab-grown diamond space lately. To begin with, I felt a little frustrated watching a CNBC interview with Hellsberg CEO Brad Hampton at the recent Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting, which is still pretty high on my bucket list of events to attend. Hellsberg ranks among the larger jewelry retail chains in the United States and is part of the Berkshire Hathaway or Warren Buffett stable of companies. All was going swimmingly well in the interview as they were talking about caution in the market during which Hampton noted price sensitivity among lower end consumers who are trading down because of the economic situation. Fine. And he mentioned that the industry is facing deflationary pressure due to lab grown diamonds and that is true. But that piqued the interviewer's interest who asked him about the difference between lab grown and natural diamonds. And I'm afraid Hampton missed a beat here because he essentially said or implied that there is no difference between the two products beyond price. He did not emphasize the difference in the value proposition between the two products. Instead, the message was that they are alternatives for customers that come in with different budgets and different price points. By pushing lab grown, that customer is losing out on the value proposition of their purchase. And yes, as he mentioned, lab grown gives retailers better margins, but that's not going to be enough. Jewelers cannot sustain their businesses with a growing proportion of their sales being in lab grown. That is true for independents and majors such as Hellsberg, and it is true for the industry as a whole. The reason that synthetics infiltrate the bridal segment was because retailers sold them or rather marketed them one-on-one -on -one with their customers and Hellsberg is apparently still doing that now we're seeing a change in this in the overall sentiment as bridal moves back to lateral and lab grown finds its place in lower price fashion jewelry I hope Hellsberg changes its messaging accordingly and the whole lab grown price dynamic came under the spotlight again as Lightbox the De Beers synthetic brand lowered its pricing from $800 a carrot to $500 for its standard lab grown product in the I2J color range. The price of Lightbox G2H color is set at $600 a carrot and DEFs were reduced from $1,500 to $900 a carrot. That wasn't too surprising. De Beers had teased the market about it in early announcements and interviews. What was interesting was the stipulation that those stones have a guaranteed minimum very good cut and VS clarity while the DEF stones will feature excellent cut. As my friends at JCK Online reported, Lightbox originally maintained that its lab grown diamonds don't need reports, but its stones will now be accompanied by downloadable GIA batch quality verification reports from the GIA. Why is this important? Because it digs to the heart of what a lab grown diamond is. Is it a product that simply needs quality assurance? Assurance, as the beers originally argued or does it warrant a grading report in which we elevate its status to being on par with a natural diamond where the value grows exponentially with the improvements in carrot size color clarity cut the four C's etc on that I pose the question if the price is based on cost and the cost of growing as I understand it does not change according to quality why are the different price points for different qualities of lab grown and why are the different price points at Lightbox from what I understand this is the first phase of a broader program to reposition Lightbox to being a more style or design oriented lab grown diamond brand and away from its linear pricing model after all that's the only way a lab grown diamond brand can add value through cool and innovative design and marketing and even then I believe the upside will be limited at which point perhaps the likes of Hellsberg will offer true differentiation between its synthetic and natural diamond offerings in terms of the value that they represent. Just a few thoughts for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Abby Kravitz. It's your Diamond Minute and I'll see you next time.